You're watching a Cardi Kaizoku video, aren't you? Cardi Kaizoku. This video is sponsored by Card Market, Europe's largest online marketplace for trading card games. We have Blah vs. Black Yellow Luffy. I'll go second. Alright, we'll work with this. Unless he plays Gadatsu, my raise max should be pretty safe. Play Garp though. I guess I don't need to play him out, technically. But he's not going to play anything I need to remove for a while. They do play the uh, 07 Luffy. We'll pass. Ooh, this Luffy does KO. So Gordon isn't as free a drop in 07 as I thought against Yellow. Hmm. Will they play it? No, wait. It's 5, so he's at 3. I guess for 5, we'll take. I guess we'll just play 2 Ains next turn. They even attack us with Garp. We'll take that. Okay, 5 at Garp. Actually, I didn't need to attack Garp. I keep misplaying today. I, yeah, the 5 should have been at their leader. And we'll cheat out a Shachi Penguin, ramp 2. I messed up. Okay, they're just up 1k counter more than they would normally be. Or I'm denying them cards in hand, right. Would they play Popping Sabo to pop? Chacho. That goes for 5. I don't want to get too low. Well, Chari is probably good against him. But I don't have any other counters. Er, Beppo, sorry. I'm going to have to use you for counter here. Another raise max. Okay, how about Ayn for 5? He could have a way to pop 2 life next turn, so that's something that we always have to worry about. Hmm. Yeah, and then 2 Dawn Leader will have 5 Dawn to pop 2 life. The kid, Dawn, raise max, minus, bottom deck. We'll play Ayn. I will... I will... Let's see, let's think about it. So 2 Dawn for Leader, 1 Dawn for, like, Flampe. Then he'll have... Forward on to play like a Sabo and the Ace or something. So I don't attack him this turn. Which means I should have attacked with my leader, so my Ayn is safe. Yeah, a lot of new leader mechanics I'll have to get used to. I'm still early on into my 07 journey. So these small things will come with time. 7 at Ayn. Sure, does he have a way to pop 2 life right now? Oh, Luffy pops to kill Ayn, draws a card. Hmm. That prevents me from killing him. I rage you to draw. 7-7, seven, seven. yeah, we'll draw. I guess we could cheat out another rage you. Shariah. 3 would cheat out. Or maybe Mr. 2 would be good. Mr. 2. We'll just pass. I want to be able to threaten him with the lethal if I do swing when he's at 2 life. So I at least burn some cards out of his hand. Chances of winning is low, but I'll burn cards out of his hand that he could use later on to like survive even longer with. That's the theory anyway. But re these rages really do help us refill our hand. Yeah, if he plays an ace out, my Mr. 2 gets value. If he buffs himself with his... Uh, Two cost brothers, my Shariah gets value. Either way, I'm getting value. Play Sabo. We can bottom deck him. Let's see what's in this discard. Just Sabo and Luffy. And Ace, okay. Okay, okay. He attacks 9k at us. Mm hmm. I guess we'll block counter 2. I want to get too low, right? right we'll do Don, Mr. 2, attack him for 7 by copying Sabo's power. I hope he doesn't block. Just take it, please. Come on, take it. All the cool kids are doing it. Take the Don, or take the live. He blocks. 
Guy is too smart. I swear. Okay, at least counter for two, please. Burn a card out of your hand. Don't let him die. You want to counter for two. Let him die. Like he can hear what I'm saying. Guy's crazy on another level. Yeah, we'll play Raise You then. Um. We'll just pass then, right? Yeah, we'll pass. Swings at Mr. Two. I have Rush set up. He's probably got two Flampes in hand by now, right? Maybe I should have just been attacking him. Maybe I am trying to be too big brain about this. But if I win in the end, does it matter? But if I lose in the end, then yeah. <laughs> I messed up trying to drag it out this long. It's not like we're not doing anything. Like, we got rid of blockers. Yeah, just one blocker, really. Okay, Flampe, there's the first one. They could draw them into another one. Okay, yep, they had it. Of course. Okay, we'll see if my strategy was a mistake in the end now. The so Shirai, I can still hit them. And then if it's Sobble blockers out, I can get rid of it with Raise Max. Yeah, so I do still potentially threaten Lethal. Now they have like, what, 10 cards in hand? Yeah. And then two more will come out for the, the small brothers, right? Sabo and Ace. Not bad. The Ace will swing into Mr. Two and the leader will swing into me. There's the Sabo, which I can bottom deck. Ace two. You gotta have it. If I bottom deck Sabo, my Shariah does threaten lethal. Right, because I match his leader's power. Here's what Shariah does. You can read him. Right. Okay, okay. Do your thing. How do you do it? I pick up another ace. Seven at Mr. Two. Did I block? Nah. Then 11 at us. 12 at us. Sure. Right, good luck to you. He's at 9. I want to use some of my Dawn up before, like, doing anything crazy with it. Yeah, we'll do Kid 9. We have 3 Dawn to use here. I guess I could have just used Dawn to attack into Ace, too. I forgot he was on board and a target. Okay, they counter 1. They raise Max. Minus 3 to Sabo. Bottom deck him, bring out a... Uh, hmm. Bring out Law. Minus 2 to Ace, in case things go south. I'm about to put everything onto Shariah here. Tag him for 16. Yeah, I become a 9k base, because I copy his attack. When I attack. Should be game, hopefully. 2, 2, 2. Oh, maybe he has it, actually. He don't. Nice. Okay, yeah, that paid off in the end. We have Law versus Gekko Moria. Oh no, my nightmare. Uh, literally, this is the only deck I lose to in 06. This is the deck that got me, uh, cheated me out of my top 8. Or didn't cheat me, but prevented me from getting my top 8 placement at a regional. Right, I, I went 8-2. My two losses were to the two Gekko Morias I faced against. Every other deck I had no issues playing against. Just Gekko Moria. 6 k does brings out a Perona. Yes. I'll get rid of uh, one law. Sure. I'll take the 6. Okay. We'll do 5 at them what do they have in discard so no absaloms to worry about just yet they took that maybe i'm safe to do law minus two bottom deck into an ein i don't need sanji out just yet i hope because sanji does get around absalom it's harder for them to get rid of him but then if i didn't play ein i'd be too like far behind in dawn in dawnage ramp that's the word I like Donage more. I'm gonna start using Donage in all my videos. Yeah, this deck gives you some gnarly Donage. Oh, Ice Age would have got rid of my Sanji anyway. Then they discard an Absalom, play him out. 
We'll take the seven to kill our law. Another iron. Okay, uh, I probably should get rid of that guy. So iron five. Yeah, we'll do Shariah raise, raise max. We'll never play Bon Clay. We'll have them out before they played eight Gecko, so I can swing back nine K at them. Okay, they take that one. Well, leader five then. They counter one. Play Shariah, raise max, minus three, bottom deck, iron, pass. Right, that's one Absalom we got rid of. Let's see how many more of the three remaining that he has and Luchis that he might be running. Five at iron. Let's, let's block our counter one. Okay, brand new. I don't know, I might regret losing that kid later. Sabo out, okay, okay. Got raise max. We'll do iron five. Counter one, iron five. Actually, I should get rid of the Sabo before he can block. Okay, the counter one, we'll play out Mr. Two ramp, play out raise max. Minus three. Bottom deck, play Reju, draw. Two, uh, Shariah five. We're staying at four on the entire game, I guess. Yeah, no more Absaloms. One Luchi though. Okay, they took. Yeah, the the last game that I lost was against a guy who got all four of his Absaloms in like the top fifteen cards of his deck. So nothing really you can do against that. I bottom deck three of them, I believe, and he still had one last one to kill my board. Just unfortunate, just RNG in this matchup, I guess. So far, the only non-05 card, 06 card that I've played is this Bon Clay. And then there's Sanjay in my hand, but I haven't used him yet. So 5k at Shariah. And then he's going to play Gecko, right? So I counter this. He's going to kill two things on board for sure. Yeah, there's Sudo. Oh, he concedes. Oh, huh. I beat Gecko Moria. But all I did different this time was play Mr. 2. I think he just got unlucky. He only found one Absalom and I bottom decked it so you can't like play it out again and again. He does have uh friggin' Luchi though, so he, he didn't have like no outs. I don't know. I wish my regional game went like this. That would have been a top eight finisher for me for sure. Oh well. Just how it cookie crumbles, I guess. Okay, bye. We have Law versus Dragon. We'll go second. I have no idea what his deck does, but I guess we'll learn. Oh, let's keep this. It's a little low on the ramp. Uh, we'll play out Raise Max and Gordon. I do believe they run that one cost Robin, but she pops a one cost. So our 2k power, no, pops a 1k power character. So our 2k power uh, minus 3k effects should be safe. Attacks us for eight though. We'll take okay, two Beppos. Hmm. Two six set leader. They took that. We'll just play Shariah and pass. Don't want to get too low on Dawn too early for no benefit if there's nothing in the bottom deck. Texas for six will take. Two Penguin, perfect. Plays Kid and Killer. It does have Rush. X for eight. I think it's worth it to block, right? Yeah, they'll play more Rush cards than this. And then moving the Dawn away from Leader means that my Shariah can't counter. Can't block for 6k, so that's pretty good. Okay, well, we will. What do we do here? We play Kid and Killer. Minus three. Bottom deck. Touchy Peng. We just do seven at leader. I guess we attack with Kid and Killer too. Why not? Okay, the counter one. And then leader 7. Probably should have done 6-6 six, six instead. Oh, this was a 2k anyway. Oh, no, it's a 1k. Never mind. Scratch what I said. Okay, Bello Betis. Okay, Ivankov. The 4-drop the one. So, he'll need 2 extra Dawn afterwards, which he does have. He can cheat something else out. But then I can bottom deck with the Gordon. Access for 7. Oh, get and kill it for 7, sure. Ivankov, out. Puts two rested Dawn, brings out a Lindbergh. 
I get rid of Ivankov, pretty sure. We'll play kid. Minus three the Ivankov. Don Shachi Penguin, attack them for six. Counter two. Bottom deck Ivankov, bring out Beppo. Good on leader, swing for seven. And they take, we'll pass. Since they don't have too much like removal by cost reduction, they shouldn't have any at all in red. I think it's better to keep these Sanjis as 2Ks. So I'll do like a Raju Be Beppo play next turn to refill my hand. He attacks into Shachi Penguin. I think I just give it to him. Good on leader. Yep, Shachi Penguin. Have it. Then he can use this 2 Dawn onto Lindbergh. Oh, Koala. Okay, Lindbergh can KO. Kid. Thanks to Koala. Nice play. And then what? 6k on Bello Betty. 7. I'll take the 7. 7 on Betty would hurt me. But they might play a 5 cost Ivankov or something instead. Oh, nope. Oh, 6k only. That I can deal with. Counter for 2. Okay, um, 8 Dawn. What is he at? He's at 9. So I can still ramp. So we'll attack. 5k into Bella Betty. Ramp 1. Okay, that kills. Uh, we'll play out Raju first. We have Gordon and Raze Max. I think I can afford to use one to get rid of Lindbergh. Oh no, then I'll have no Dawn left over. I want to play a second Raju. Might be okay. Is it risky? We'll attack 5k into Lindbergh. Yeah, I think... I'll take the risk. Counter one, we'll play out another Reju. Then we'll bottom deck the Koala, bring out... I think we have to play out Zoro, burn another counter out of his hand. Okay, then I think we have enough counter to survive if they try to split. Two, four, five, six. Yeah, that's enough, right? Ooh, they played this dragon though, which has rush. Maybe I don't have enough after all. I completely forgot about this guy. 7k at us. We have to defend this. So we'll counter 3. And then 9-9. Nine, nine. Shoot. Oh, 7 only? He could have done 9-9, nine, nine, but if it's 7, I can defend that so I don't die. And he potentially might have lost. Thank you, Beppo. Yeah, if he had done 9-9, I would have lost unless I drew a 2k for my last life. So I can reduce him by 6k. Do Reju 5 at Lindbergh. Okay, he dies. See, 2 Don, 2, 2, 2, 7's all around. See how many counters we can burn out of his hand, I guess. Okay, they took that one. Zoro, 7. Counter that. Leader 7. He took. The Gordon. Play raise max. Minus 3. Minus 3. Bottom deck him. Bring out Shariah. Pass. And I, I think we're safe. Right? Unless he plays like 2 rush cards. So 5 at whatever. He can kill whatever he wants. 5 at Zoro. It's yours. Dragon 11 at Reju. It's yours. Okay, here goes. We'll do 12 at leader. Radical Beam. Oh, he didn't even have enough counter. We got it. Nice. Rematch. Nope, he left. Bye. We have a Law versus Vegapunk. He, I have no idea what his deck does, really. I have a general idea, but not exactly what he does turn by turn. And this is supposed to be like EB01 video, but yeah, on the sim, there's no like intermediate format. It's either 06 or 07 right now. So we'll play 07 here. Uh, what's this do? Atlas. That's you trigger it. Okay. We'll play out two raise maxes and pass. Which is bottom deck, whatever they trigger out. They play Lilith. That's some search. And that's it, right? Because leader can't attack. Yeah, that's what Vegapunk does. Pause if you want to read it. We'll attack with our leader for 5. Get them to trigger Atlas, maybe. 
Nope, they counter. Hmm. We bottom deck the Lilith then? Sure. Sounds good. We'll play... Oh, I could have had one extra Dawn if I played Bonclay first. Oops. Oh, well. Bonclay. Raise Max. Bottom deck. Sashi Peng. Pass. Yeah, in that case, it wouldn't have been just a 1k to defend. They need a 2k. Hidatsu kills Bong Clay, but I still have my raise max, so that's fine. Play Kid. Minus 3. Bottom deck. Bring out Reiju. Refill our hand. Dachi Penguo 5. Maybe they trigger the Alice now. Yep. Then leaders. 7. I was thinking of pre-playing a Gordon, but if he does run Gidatsu, we could face another Gidatsu that kills it. He gets an Edison trigger. After taking our 7, that lets him draw 2, cycle 2. Draw 2, discard 2, which is cycle 2. We'll pass. What did he discard? Luffy and cut the cutie. Okay. So I do have Rush Threat, uh, but I'm not at 2 life. Oh, if its opponent is at 2 or less life? Okay, so he does have Rush. And yeah, there's that Gidatsu we feared that would have killed our Gordon if we played it last turn. Puts an Edison on top, 6k at Shachi Penguin. Counter 2. Did Edison trigger last turn? Yeah, he did. 5? Okay, we'll block that. Yeah, I forgot if he could attack or not. It would be nice if there was like a like a shiny border that tells me what cards can and can't attack. Maybe that's a idea for the future. Okay, um, what do we do here? 2 Dawn, 7, 7, no, that doesn't sound good. We'll get rid of Gidatsu. The Don Leader. Or I mean Don Gordon. Minus three Gidatsu will play Kid and Killer. Bottom deck Gidatsu cheat out. Sashi Penguin. Okay, we have a lot of Don to use here. We'll do we just clear board to be safe? Yeah. So five at Edison. He dies. Uh six at Atlas. Oh, it cannot be killed by battle. I should read. Okay, seven out leader. Okay, that's the last time that'll ever happen. I'll never forget Atlas can do that. Okay, so Edison lets them cycle two again. And then we'll do seven kid at their leader. They might take. Yep. Another trigger though. Nope, we'll pass. I think we win then. He'll heal once and then I'll have two bodies for lethal. Right, because leader can't attack. Edison, 5 at kid and killer. We'll counter that. They might play Yamato. Oh, they do play Yamato. That kills anything on board, except kid. Okay, kid, kid killed our kid and killer. 6 at kid, cannot stop. Alright, here goes. So, I can do 7s all around. So, Shachi Penguin, 7. We countered that for four. Actually, penguin seven. Then leader nine. Yep. Might have game here. Nine. Yeah, we do. <laughs> okay, huh. That's why Vegapunk isn't meta, I guess. Okay, okay. Well, I have to try them out for myself, too. Bye. Cardi Kaizoku.